Hey guys, I'm Richie from the Very Loud Indeed company. Today I'm very proud to show you Oblique 2, Dark Base Explorations, the follow-up to our acclaimed Oblique, Dark Cello Explorations. Oblique 2 is a double bass instrument. Unlike its predecessor, it was assigned to be ideal for scoring dark drama, thrillers, and horror. It's a damaged, twisted, brutal, but incredibly expressive contact library, brimming with sharp edges and blunt force. The recordings for Oblique 2 were performed by Alberto Moreno Gaia, who coaxed the darkest, most insane sounds out of his instrument. His mastery of the double bass allowed us to capture powerful performances with a massive dynamic range, perfect for psychological thrillers and terrifying horror sequences. Oblique 2 contains nine articulations. First, we have the long soltasto, played by bowing right on top of the fingerboard. Expression, or CC11, controls the volume. The vibrato is controlled by CC21, and it has three settings. At 0%, no vibrato is present. At 50%, we have a normal expressive vibrato. And at 100%, there is a super slow c sec vibrato to give a strong sensation of anise and red. The spur is controlled by modulation, or CC1, and it's pretty self-explanatory. It fades in the samples recorded with extremely forceful bowing, and this takes the sound way over the top in intensity. The despair control affects all the types of vibrato accordingly. Next, we have the staccato. As you can guess, this is not your regular pretty staccato. As a matter of fact, when played softly, the sound is much more spiccato, but it changes into a super aggressive bow stroke when played hard. The glissando down is basically sliding the notes a whole step downwards. Next, we have the glissando harmonics.
tremolo harmonics are essentially the same as the glissando harmonics, but with tremolo bowing. Next, there's a circular bowing. This is a technique where the bow is moved across all the strings in a wide circular pattern. Then there are the crunches, which are just pulling a string as hard as possible to get a brutal creaking sound. We also have a couple of more percussive articulations. One of them is the Bartok pizzicato, which involves plucking the strings very hard against the fingerboard. And finally, we have percussive body taps. We struck the bridge of the bass, the fingerboard, and then we tap the body using fingertips, the heel of the hand, the knuckles, and the palm. To wrap up this video, let's briefly talk about the effects section. This section is very streamlined and it's not supposed to replace your favorite effects plugins. The goal is to allow you to make quick tweaks on the fly and to maximize speed and efficiency. We have a distortion control in case you need an even more aggressive sound. Then we have a Hall reverb set at 5580 milliseconds. And finally, there's a stereo ping pong delay set at 8 notes. and that is Oblique 2. Just like Oblique, it's very compact, taking only about 2.3 gigabytes of storage. Like all of our contact instruments, it's designed for speed, power, efficiency, and ease of use. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Thank you for watching. Take care and see you soon.